Welcome to another exciting episode of Battle of the Atom. I'm Adam Reck, and I went to New York City Comic Con this past weekend. Over the last four days, I've clocked tens of thousands of steps and talked to tons of great creators. Um, On today's show, for this New York City Comic Con super special, we have uh, have eight great interviews with ex-creative people from days of future, present, and past including Matteo Loli, Vida Ayala, Marcus Toe, Wils Portaccio, Herman Peralta, Adriano De Benedetto, Matt Rosenberg, and Jordan D. White. Uh, And now, on with the show. All right, I am here with Adriano De Benedetto, who is currently inking R.V. Silva's pencils on Powers of Ten. Yes. Uh, Adriano, I think I first encountered your work with R.V. Silva in X-Men Gold. Um, how long have you guys been working together? Uh, we actually been working together since 2015. We did a, an independent book. It was actually my first professional work. Okay. Uh, with RB, and he like really appreciated what I did with the inking. At the next year, when he started doing the Nova, we did like three issues. He just called me. I'm like, we we be up to do that. I'm like, it's no no brainer for me. Like work for Marvel. Yeah. Duh. <laughs> so what's your working relationship like with RB? Yeah, we we usually talk a lot. Uh, we have uh, we both enjoy uh, a lot of music, so he plays drums and I play guitar. So we used to do like when we finished uh, a full issue, I would go to his town, which is like 40 minutes from mine, and we jam. Oh my god. Just like, yeah. <laughs> Please tell me there are recordings of this band. We we used to yeah, just like just do jam? riffs and not like post songs because neither of us sing. Oh okay. But we used to do like we did like a live from you know, on Instagram. People seem to enjoy that. Oh, I'd love to hear that. That'd be great. Um, now, do both of you work just completely traditional with actual pencils? And I, I'm looking at your table, uh, you know, pen and ink. How, how are you working? Yeah, I, I always work. Traditional. Mm-hmm. RB sent me uh, the digital pencils. He always does everything on the Cintiq, everything full digital. And I, I will receive it by email or Dropbox. Print it out, 11 by 17 on blue lines and ink it. So the inks are traditional, so I have the original. So do you ever you know, go back and edit anything digitally, or is it all traditional from start Sometimes to Sometimes we, if we have like uh, some something from the editor, Okay. Like, oh, th- this uniform, like the costume should be different, uh, this character shouldn't be there. Sometimes RB sent me the pens, sometimes he corrects it all, all on, on digital. Now, I think a lot of pe- uh, people have compared your work with RB to uh, the pair of Stuart Eminem and Wade Von Grabauer, uh, oh. Grabadger, which, huge compliment. Are oh, they, yes, are they it a really influence is. influence on you guys? Oh, they you always is. I mean, how can, I mean, you, if you get like 10 artists here, like eight out of ten are like influenced by him, and he's such a great artist. And so, yeah, it's kind of hard not to uh, to yeah. love his stuff, right? Now, one of the things that I've noticed with Powers of Ten yeah. is it, it seems like it's a huge artistic leap forward for both of you guys. Um, the amount of detail that you're pouring into each page, um, the the sets, the the facial expressions, like everything about it. Um, just seems to have evolved. Do you, do you feel like you guys have personally kind of stepped it up for this particular uh, run? I believe it's, it's always an evolution. Yeah. I mean, it's important. You know, that's what you seek as an artist. And uh, with also the script will take us so, so many different places, so many different eras. Yeah. Then, I mean, if this RB didn't step up, it would feel... I mean, you see what Pepe is doing. <laughs> and like, oh... We used we got his page like we should like keep it up because he's he's also a fantastic artist. So do you feel like you're like competing with Pepe in terms no, of No, it's like know, um, friendly I mean like 
like on Formula One, there's two drivers on the same team. Yeah. So we're uh, okay. Because yeah. I, I gotta say, like you know, Pepe Larraz, I think uh, for for me is one of the best in the business right now. Ah, uh, totally but, agree. Totally. But, but you guys have like your powers of ten books. I think in some cases are better. Um, you know. Thank you. I, I absolutely loved it, and I think you guys have some unique challenges with your book. Um, yeah, you know, whereas House of ten, uh, House of X is primarily, you know, just about the events on Krakoa. Yeah. You guys are dealing with multiple timelines, yeah. you know, very futuristic stuff. Uh, you've got phalanx to draw. So yeah. what what's what are those challenges like for you guys? Uh, I believe the first one was like understanding what the script was about. <laughs> That's fair. Yeah. yeah. I got the first issue. So like page one, we have four different times. I like, what's going on? <laughs> But uh, we did some... RB is starting to do his own inking from now on. Oh. So we did like half of the first issues. Uh, so the, the thing with the phalanx, he did all all digital. Okay. So he can play with his brushes and do yeah. a lot of things that would like make me crazy if this was up to me. So I'm glad it, it kind of happened. Okay. But, but you guys are still collaborating, right? No, this is our final war. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. So now, uh, beyond inking, do you do your own pencils? Do you do your own uh, original artwork? Yeah, I do only on, on conventions. I do some sketching, but okay. like small head sketches and uh, busts on, on, on sketch covers. But I, 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 I've always penciled, like, since I was a child. I mean, everyone who loves comic books well, sometime in their lives should, like, maybe pick up a pencil and start inking. Then I, I went forward to inking. People was like, oh... Your drawings are good, but your inking is better. You should focus on that. I was okay. like, oh, well, okay, I'll give it a try. And then I got, when I started using brushes, I was like, oh, this is a new, this is it. So I'm, I'm seeing some, are these watercolor brushes? Uh, yeah. What do you prefer are, to use? These are Winsor Newton brushes. Okay. People usually do watercolor, but yeah. a lot of inkers use that. Yeah. I so you're all brushes, no no nibs. No, or anything like I, that? I do a lot of microns, and I oh, used to okay. do rapidographs. Yeah. But they are like rechargeable, and it, ah, it's too much. Too much for me. Okay. <laughs> so um, what's next for you? You know, if if, if um, RV is you know going to be if he's going to be doing his own stuff, what, what's on your palette? Like yeah, I'm, I'm going for a while. To DC to oh, work on. Really? Cool. Oh, I'm, it wasn't announced yet. But oh, okay. So I, I can so I just, that I, No, I, ju I would just say that I'll go to DC. Okay. We won't share the title. All right. But it's a very short story. Then I'm, I'm coming back to Marvel to work with, with Jorge Molina again. Whoa, awesome. Because yeah. We did uh, the War of the Realms, Land of Giants there. And I it, loved the War of the Realms book. I thought that was Thank absolutely you. amazing. Thanks. Um you know, that also had some unique, interesting challenges to it, too. You're drawing, like, giant frost giants and, you know, horses dogs. And the horses. Horses are like horses. an artist's nightmare, right? Yeah, people say the worst thing you could draw is horses, but uh, Pegasus is <laughs> worse because it's a horse <laughs> and it with wings. wings. And it's like... Yeah, I can uh, I can see that being a, a problem. Um, out of all of your, your work in Powers of Ten... Um, you know, did you have a favorite character that you like to work on more than anybody else? I always love working on Wolverine. Yeah. I mean, you can look at my banner yeah, here. It's like, right here on your yeah. banner. Uh, I usually, people when people give me something to sketch, ah, which one would you like to draw? Oh, Wolverine, I do Wolverine, yeah. <laughs> hey, he's I, a great I really character. like doing his hair, his facial hair, like greedy stuff. Well, it's also pretty funny in the script that like when you get to the future, everybody yeah. else is like this weird chimera. And then I was like, when Wolverine popped up, there was discussion. Well, who's who's he next with? And I was like, yeah. he's just Wolverine. Of course yeah, he, he has is. Like, <laughs> white beard. Yeah, he's got a great beard. Well, uh, Adriana, thank you so much for taking some time. Thank I you. Hope you I have a lovely weekend here at the con. Thanks. Oh, it's been great and, so far. Uh, I wish you the best. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you. It's great.